Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over. Whoa, that's a lot of yolks. Are you stress eating again, or is this just a small Terry snack? I'm stress eating, Jake. My snack yolks are in that bowl. Oh. Captain, here's the mope who hacked our computer system. His mother turned him in. His name is Corey Park. My name is Savant. His web handle is Savant. His people name is Corey Park. Why'd you target us with your computer virus, Corey? I don't know. I was bored, and it was easy to break into your weak-ass system. It was like taking candy from a baby. Why are you giving candy to a baby in the first place? Don't give candy to a baby. They can't brush their teeth. Yes, Sergeant, it is unwise to give babies candy. One, two, three. Be appropriate. Now break it up. We look weird. Right. Don't move as a group. You're not gazelles. OK, it's going to be OK. You're a busy sergeant. They can't always expect you to be friendly. <sighs> Time to go to Brown Town. Let's do this, Jeffords. Hey, Sergeant. Bill. <laughs> what up, man? You were right. Terry loves to be loved. Hey, Monica. Hey, Doug. <laughs> Ooh, who wants a knot? <laughs> I know you got a secret stash of food hidden somewhere. Oh, no. Where is it? No, I don't. Is it in your pockets? Oh, come on. I'm going to shake it out of your pockets. Turn around. Sarge. Oh, Sarge! Go live, Scully. Oh. Uh, this is fun. Release your sweets. Hey, can I talk to you guys? Ugh, you're not selling those crapola candy bars for your daughter's Dune basketball team again, are you? Dune? Yeah, they're terrible and you know it. Well, I'm not selling candy. That's next week. Please bring cash. Do I look like a man who snacks? You look like eight circles with suspenders on. But these aren't bad for you. They're full of fiber and antioxidants. Go ahead, try one. OK, fine. Mm -hmm. Just one. Mm -hmm. Damn, these are good. Plus, they're organic and fair trade. Terry loves responsible agricultural practices. Sergeant Jeffords searched the internet for undiscovered muscle. I was working out and saw muscle in my shoulder I'd never seen before. I thought it might have been a scientific discovery. Meanwhile, I'll be waiting in an undercover vehicle here. He's already tagged three UC vehicles. He can clearly spot them. You should take my minivan. A minivan? <laughs> you all got a problem with my minivan? Because my wife doesn't like it either. She wanted an SUV, but those things roll, man. They roll. Terry is your god. Oh, hail Lord Terry, giver of life. Oh, hail Lord Terry. <laughs> what is going on with your eyebrows, man? I shaved them off. Because of the bugs. Sharon said you couldn't notice. Sharon lied, Terry. You look like a straight up fool. Damn, Rosa. Brian, looking swole. You're looking swole. Is today leg day? Legs for an hour, two hours blasting the glutes. Terry's got butt for days. <laughs> Excuse me? I said Terry's got butt for days. Please stop talking about my body. What? I'm Terry. You just said I had butt for days. Oh, I see what just happened. Terry's going to regret this. Are you threatening me? No, no, no. Uh, this is a misunderstanding. My name is also Terry, and I was talking about my butt. So you were complimenting your own body. Well, I'm pretty proud of it. Do you know how old I am? OK. Apology accepted. Seems pretty arrogant, though. This might not be the right time, but talking about yourself in the third person has finally come. Terry knows! Gina may never look at another real human being again. She's unbeatable. Uh, I don't know about that. Terrence Jeffords, are you kidding me? Changed my relationship status to it's complicated. Pony up, y'all. <laughs> Woo! It's my wife. Hey, baby. No, 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 no. It was a mistake. My thumb slipped it. I have to go home. <laughs> Is it supposed to do that? It was not supposed to do that. What's in the box? Brad Pitt, seven. But seriously, what's in the box? The worst thing in the world. Shut up, stupid. OK, so who sent you the kitten, and why do you hate it? It's not a kitten. It's a slap in the face for something that happened 20 years ago. Well, you had a flat top? I know you had a flat top, because I saw pictures. Sorry, go on with your story, flat top Terry. It was 1995. I just made detectives. I was really excited about my first day at the 6-5. But the guys in the squad were a bunch of jerks. Hi, I'm Terry. Which desk is mine? Solve a case, then you get a desk. They were like that about a lot of stuff. Well, solve a case, then you get coffee. Solve a case, then you can sign Debbie's birthday card. Sounds like you needed to solve a case. Exactly. So I picked the biggest one I could find. 
string of B&Es, all with the same M.O. Guy climbed in through high-rise windows. After a month, I found my suspect, Dimitri Kuzco, an ex-acrobat with a criminal record. Circus trash. It has to be him. That's exactly what I said. Circus trash. It has to be him. I tracked down my acrobat, got SWAT to surround his building. There was no way anything could go wrong. Hey, well, I really down. Get on the ground. See uh oh My guy had a terrible trapeze fall two years prior. Snapped his spine in half. So why the kitten? Well, in the moment, I may have gotten a little flustered. But look, he's got a cat. He trained a cat to do the robberies. That's why they call him cat burglars. Oh, why is no one saying anything? <laughs> oh, Terry. I'll stay for this Whitman debacle. You go home. I'm not tired. Why would you think I was tired? I ended up doing 25 minutes of sleep chin-ups on muscle memory alone. Tired Terry still gets after it. That's all I'm saying. I was born ready. And then I was not born ready for a while, but now I'm back to being born ready. Yes! The Ebony Falcon soars again. The Ebony Falcon. His feathers are muscles. Let's talk strategy later tonight at my house. My wife's working late. I'm on daddy duty. But you're ready for this, right? Absolutely. I just need to put my precious babies to bed with a story. The Ebony Falcon needs to read Go Dog Go. Yeah, he does. Terry Jeffords is back. Chest bump me. You don't want to do this, man. No, I really do. It hurts you every time. No, I know, but I'm fired up. The adrenaline is going to carry me through. Here we go. I can't wait to get on a plane. I used up my miles and upgraded to first class. Damn, Sarge. This is going to be great. Sipping on a mimosa, snacking on a hummus trio, watching Bridget Jones' baby. The door is locked. That's strange, though. I thought the guard propped it open. I kicked my way out, but I think these windows are bulletproof. Ah, we're not getting any reception in here. Guys, it's cool. We just gotta roll with it. You know, travel should be like jazz. Nuh-uh. There's a live flat seat waiting for me, and I want to be napping in it with a hot towel wrapped around my big bald head. Hey! All right, everybody, just calm down. I'm sure that guard will be back in, like, five minutes. We're gonna miss our flight. I should be sitting next to a semi-famous person that I can't quite place right now. Hey, Sergeant. You know how you're really good at, um, doodling? I know you think you're complimenting me, but calling them doodles is an insult. You a big fan of Picasso's doodles? Sorry. Can you please draw a perp for me? The sketch artist is out sick, and the captain wants this done right away. He's in a bad mood. Is he? I can never read him. You look chipper, Captain. You have a fun weekend? There was a small fire in my home. I lost many photo albums of treasured memories. I'm devastated. I'm telling you, he and I have a connection and there is something bothering him. Can you help me out? Great. Man, can you please describe the perp to Sergeant Jeffords? I, yeah, he had um, dark curly hair and a neck tattoo. Wait, and... wait, wait, slow down. Uh, let's start with the eyes. Were they desperate, lonely? Did they betray heartache? They were brown. Do you even want your purse back? I just want to establish myself as a leader right away. Just be confident, deliberate, and firm. You'll know you have the respect when you can take a moment. And still keep their attention. Amazing. That was captivating as hell. Hey, Sarge, I need someone to fill out a lineup. Will you be Scary Terry? Oh, I love being Scary Terry. <laughs> he says what regular Terry's thinking. This is taking too long! I'm gonna miss the farmer's market! All right, gang. Diet day four. How's everyone holding up? Honestly, I'm going to last forever. You hear that, bitches? I'm gonna last forever. <laughs> I'm doing great. This morning, the homeless guy on my stoop said my skin looked dope. What's going on? Why do you all have matching bags? We're doing a diet together. My wife found it. She heard about it at Mommy and Me Graphic Design. Wait, it might have been Tyler Karate. <laughs> She takes our little ladies to so many classes, I can't keep it straight. Childhood is truly a time of wonder. This diet is very scientific, sir. All the meals are pre-planned and delivered to your doorstep. This is our breakfast. An orange wedge, three cashew nuts, and a solitary grape. It's actually more than you realize. Sometimes I can't even finish all the grape. Well, this seems unnecessary to me. You're all in perfect shape. You can always be healthier, sir. And I like the challenge. Plus, it's good team building. We're going to get through this together. Hey, guys, <laughs> pro tip. Lick the baggie. There's food molecules in there. Oh, oh that's so smart. Oh. 
How long were we asleep? Just long enough for me to squeeze in a quick workout. So like, three hours. I have to get video. Santiago, please. Hold the phone horizontal to get more flies in frame. All right, guys, your spam boy stuff is a little much. The only thing that's a little much around here are your scrawled on eyebrows. Yeesh. Seriously? I thought they worked. They do, if you want to look like a mean drag queen. I knew I should have done a flatter arch. This is a nighttime look. Plus, we're better detectives now. We're smarter, computers are faster, no more blockbuster, drones. I'm feeling it. That was creepy. Eh? Huh? But convincing. Oh, he's standing up. I've always wanted to solve that case. And think about how good it would feel to finally do it. What's the best moment of your life? My wedding day. Tied with the day my babies were born. Compared to this, those memories will be garbage. You don't know what you're saying. Because I'm not married and I don't have kids, right? How'd it go? Is his voice all high-pitched now? What? No, of course not. Of course not. Jay, the doctors made me into a superhero. I'm so strong. And they made me black. He's on a lot of medication. We weren't able to do the procedure. Your friend is so large. That you needed a bigger saw to get through his dingus? No, his body is so physically massive that we didn't have enough anesthesia on hand. He needs a much larger dose. Psst, psst, Jake. Mm. Sometimes I can't tell my twin baby girls apart, so I call them both Boo Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So he has no filter whatsoever? None. I'm going to take you home now, Sarge. Hey, what do you think of Captain Holt? Oh, he needs to smoke some weed. Yes! Thank you, Dr. Penis Off. They wouldn't even let me into the first class lounge since my flight had already departed. I grabbed this and ran. You're all that's left in my dreams now, Mr. Mint. Hello, backup pair of suspenders. Do you bring me joy? Yes, because you have tab endings and a sweet leather yoke. I'm so glad you're in my life. I guess I'm keeping them. You got a second, Captain? I've got these overtime forms for you to see. Are you stifling a yawn? No, sir. Go home, Sergeant. I'm fine. I filled this out. I just need you to. Permission to yawn, sir? Go home. Bad news. I only found his wife, and she hasn't heard from him in eight years. That doesn't sound good. Yeah. That's why I started by saying bad news. Terry believes in having a clear topic sentence. <laughs> What's that smell? That's lavender. Terry loves lavender. A little homemade honey yogurt infused with lavender and love. Mm. Right. That is delicious. Hold it. This isn't some weird breast milk or something, is it, boy? I mean, technically, it's from a sheep's breast. Hey, Terry, got any new baby pics? You hate looking at pictures of my twins. You said since they were identical, I didn't need to take photos of both. That doesn't sound like Auntie Gina. I love your baby pics and your stories about the twins' sleep schedules. OK, I know what you two are doing. This is your weird way of trying to make me stay at the 9-9. Well, I am loving it. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, Cagney naps better, but at night, that's Lacey's time to shine. One time, she went eight to eight. Wow. Oh, I know. You OK, sir? No. Until this morning, some small part of me still believed I would be captain of the 9-9 again. What a fool I was. I should never have returned. It's like visiting your childhood home and seeing it's been replaced by a denim pants store. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, sir. You didn't even stop and sniff the bouquet. You always sniff the bouquet. And maybe the old Holt did, but the new Holt chugs Beaujolais from a burgundy glass without a care. Oh, it's a sauterne glass. Look, <laughs> the alcohol has rendered me a simpleton. Maybe you should just call it a day. I can't. I've been asked to deliver a toast here after the funeral, a message of hope. This is what I have so far. Pain. That's it. One tweak. Maybe you should lose the word pain and then get in the cab and go home. Maybe I will. But first, you're going to have one drink with me, Sergeant. Right. For old time's sake. One drink and then we go. One drink.
there, bud? We've been going for a while. You feeling hungry? Starving. Thanks. Oh, come on! You get a yogurt when I get the truth. Oh, God, it's in the grout. It's gonna smell in here forever. Look, I told you, I did everything right. I even gave Veronica plenty of time after her mom's death. Wait, what does that mean? I was gonna break up with her, but then her mom passed. So, like a gentleman, I waited. That way, she wouldn't have to deal with too much pain all at once. How long did you wait, Jeffords? I don't know, a year, a year and a half. Seriously? What? I was being considerate. Believe me, she had her fun for those 18 months. Terry puts out. All right. Also, there's no way she even knows I waited. The gift you bought her, did you buy it when you first wanted to break up with her or when you finally did it? The first time. But why would that matter? The gift we see. They all break eventually. Get him out of my sight. Now I got to go into an interrogation with no evidence and try to get Jacoby to rat out his distributors. I'm sorry I got jumpy. I wasn't thinking straight. It was all the exercise. The blood from my head rushed into my delts. Point to your delts, Jake. There is. You didn't have to hop in there, man. I can handle this. What's my name? Terry Jeffords. What is my name? The Ebony Falcon. And what does the Ebony Falcon do? Takes every precaution to ensure his own safety. <sighs> Takes bad guys to jail and bad girls to bed. Hell yeah, he does. Except now the Ebony Falcon is monogamous and too tired for sex, so his only indulgence is fresh fruit yogurt parfaits. We've busted murderers. We've taken down cartels. But today we face the worst New York has to offer. The Fire Department. Fire Marshal Boone, we meet again. Detective Peralta, your fly's down. It made you look. I didn't look, and I'm wearing shorts. There is no fly. That's not what your mom said. You make no sense. And now I'm inside your head. Prepare to die. Look at the two. Choose the dance every time. <laughs> oh, you have one play. You give the ball to Jeffords, and he runs it in. I, I'd like to see you score one. Good, because you're about to see it. You're about to see it straight to hell. Hot, hot! Now, Terry! you again. <clears throat> um, I'm building this dollhouse for my girls. It's their birthday tomorrow. I told my wife I'd get it done. I had the same exact one when I was a kid. Mom, Charles is hogging my dollhouse. Grandma bought it for the both of us. You want some help, big man? No, I can do this. It's just driving me a little crazy. Where do I fix the prince's tower, Boyle? Where do I fix it? On the side of the church. Now, now, Boyle. Let a brother breathe. Let a brother breathe. Prepare to start clapping, because I just made a major drug bust. Talking about four kilos of cocaine, 200,000 cash, and my new partner, a tarantula. I call him Jake Jr., AKA Spidey Klum, AKA Mrs. Doubt Spider, AKA Joe Spiden, AKA Tarantula Bassett, AKA Spidermit Mulroney. AKA Tarantulina Jolie. What? No, Charles, have you seen the spider? That's a terrible name. Sorry. Why do you have that thing? Because they were gonna throw him away, but I couldn't let them do that to my furry little, no, oh, he's actually really scary up close. It's horrifying from everywhere. Terry hates creepy crawlers. Seriously? I'm not going to your apartment if that thing is there. All right, fine. Then he'll just live here and help me solve crimes. Get used to him, everyone, because me and this spider are partners for life. He's gone. I left the cage unlocked, and he's gone. Oh, somebody find him! Did they have the ground! I'm good. I'm out of here! He couldn't have gone far, unless he can fly. Can tarantulas fly? Jake, you better find that spider. And I'm not coming back here until you do! Uh, Sarge, I think I found it. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, no. It's on my head! <laughs> ah! Uh, adult parties? Sergeant, I believe they're called orgies. No look five. I met my wife at an orgy. Well, she was leaving an orgy, and we bumped into each other on the street. Real meet cute. Thank you for exhibiting exactly why this meeting is necessary. 
Everyone here needs some instruction on interacting with grown-ups. Sergeant, why am I here? I'm always incredibly appropriate. In high school, I was voted most appropriate. Ooh, self-burn. Those are rare. I shouldn't be here either. I'm fine at parties. I just stand in the middle of the room and don't say anything. Here are the rules. No staring at your phones, no rolling in two hours late, no sweatpants, no jeans, and no shorts. What about dress-up shorts? For instance, the kind Jen Aniston might wear. No, those are still shorts. No shorts. And everyone bring a bottle of wine. Why are there so many rules? I mean, next thing you're gonna say is we can't be late. Yeah, that's like the first thing I said. Ah. Uh... What you got there, Sarge? I microwaved a bunch of wet napkins to make a hot towel. Just because we're in a crappy RV doesn't mean I still can't be first class, Terry. <sighs> Just like the real thing. We're all adults, no one cares about this that much. It's Captain Holt. Captain Holt, he was the worst one! No offense, but Holt was so unconvincing. He kept referring to his childhood as a soot-covered street urchin. Yes, I gave myself a Dickensian backstory, which apparently made quite the impression. I'm sorry, Sarge. Honestly, I don't think I'm the right director to bring your vision of Maxwell Blaze to life. What does that even mean? It means you blew it. Walk away, Jeffords. Walk away. But it doesn't mean you can't go over to the 6'5 and stand up to those bullies. Well, just make fun of me more. What are you talking about, Terry? You are a human mountain. You have more muscles in your ears than I have in my entire body. Never skip ear day, Jake. You can crush metal with your bare hands. You can lift a city bus. You can make your boobies do that bouncy thing. They're called pecs. Same thing. Baby, I've got some bad news. Someone painted a giant penis on our minivan. No, you cannot have an SUV now. Those things roll, baby. They roll. Uh... <sighs> this is bad. I know. He's been like that all day. No, I was talking about your eyebrows. Whatever's going on up there is real, real bad. Well, it's better than having two bug hotels above your eyes. But wouldn't they also be in your goatee? Don't do this to me, Jake. What the hell? He went full Schumer. Cultural appropriation, Amy. She'll figure it out. You're the one who did it. Mm -hmm. Is it cool if I just stare at your croissants for a little while? Sarge, you need to stop this diet. Amy and I folded. You won. It's not a competition. We were on the same team until you deserted me for team eating food. Was that a good burn? I'm too hungry to tell. It was a great burn, sir. Now, please eat. You look weak. I'm fine. I am stronger than ever. Watch this. Sarge, what, what are you doing? No, 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 no. See? I'm fine. What is happening? Just a tummy gurgle. Diet messed up my system. Oh, no. Go back inside. Are you talking to us or the fart? This will do just fine. You brought pineapple? Well, the fatty one's deep. I am prepared for any vacation situation. I've got a bottle opener, sunscreen, inflatable neck pillow. Wait, are we having fondue? Tight. Sharon and I wanted you to be the first person to meet Ava. Oh, wow. She's beautiful. I'm sorry I got angry earlier. You did a great job today. Hospital was the right decision. I'm so glad you're Ava's godfather. I'm so glad you're Sharon's god husband. I'm so glad you're my god wife. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying at this point. Thank you, Jake. You want to hold her? Oh, um, yeah, sure. That'd be great. The baby, Jake. Yeah, right, right. The normal thing. Look, it's impossible to make you leave, but you do have to sleep, and that's an order. Sir? This is not necessary. Also, can't sleep without my whale songs. Terry, I've seen this before. Problems at home, so you stay late at the job. But that only makes it worse. Everything's great with my wife. It's just my brother-in-law's in town, and we do not get along. He thinks I'm a weakling. You? Let me get that for you. I can do it. Tiny Terry loves his pickles. He makes me feel so small. Who cares what he thinks? You're a police sergeant. You're a grown man. Now take your nap. And if I see the lights on in here, I'm going to be very disappointed in you. No. Oh, well, it appears his building was torn down. I know this seems like bad news, but on the plus side, the harder the solve, the sweeter the solve. No, it's just bad news. 
You're bad news. What? What? Just saying, you're bad news for bad guys, because you're a number one cop. Black of the berry, the sweeter the juice. What? What? Solve the case. Listen up, everyone. We had a murder this morning. The Vic was found at 845 by a dog walker who let herself into his apartment. Oh, my God, it's Franzia. This is the work of Johnny Franzia, my white whale. He's finally resurfaced. Not this again. Yes, this again. Johnny Franzia has been on a murder spree for the past 10 years, and every time he kills someone, he taunts me. Look, there's a deck of cards. You say that whenever there's cars at a crime scene. You know how many people own cars, Jake? Then explain this. Johnny Franzia's catchphrase is deuces are wild. Now look around the apartment. Two chairs, two paintings. Two pillows. There are three lamps. You think Franzia gives a damn about lamps? You sound so dumb right now. This is why you don't have an arch nemesis, Terry, because you focus on the wrong details. Maybe I don't have an arch nemesis because I solve all my crimes. That's a pretty up thing to say to me. Sergeant, please tell me this malfunctioning copier isn't going to sync our precinct. I figured out how to turn it on, but the screen just shows a cartoon turtle sobbing. Perhaps it's a paper jam. And what about when the little sushi roll comes out and cuts the turtle's head off? Toner issue. Why? Anyway, I started taking it apart, but it's been a slow process for some reason. Hey, Captain. I'm glad you're here to see this. I'm just about to drink my tea. Terry. Can't even tell I was hit by a bus. That's how independent I am. Holy crap. What the hell is that? That is a bug-free zone is what it is. I bleached it. I'm smarter than they are, Rosa. Uh-huh. What about your nose, sir? Oh, man. Terry forgot about his nose. Ha! Look, her desk, I told you, is empty. She's right over there burning stuff. I'm just saging, trying to clear this place of my energy. Why? Cold feet. No. No one's paying me for my vibes anymore. I'm not trying to give them away for free. Oh, my god. I know what's going on. Gina, you're having second thoughts. You have cold feet. I figured it out. Jake for the win. There you go. Come on, man. Sarge, all of these are fine. How much longer are you going to work on this? It's questions like that that made Van Gogh cut off his ear. You can't put a clock on art. 10 minutes. Hey, Sarge. A uh, package was delivered to my desk downstairs addressed to the 99th precinct. Attention, Sergeant, but it's not for me. It's a book. Sounds like something you'd order. <laughs> How to please your wife, 100 tips to take your sex life from blah to ah. Uh... Yeah, that's not mine. It also shipped with two gallons of protein powder. Well, I get my protein from real food. 22 meals a day, one every 40 minutes. It's not a big deal, OK? Just take the book. I promise I won't tell anyone. Hey, Sarge, I heard you need some sex tips. Except for the people I already told. Here's the big one. Just lie flat on your back. Women love to do all the work. <sighs> That's very incorrect, and I don't need sex tips. OK, we'll just leave the book here, and whoever did order it can take it when nobody's looking. It's not mine. Terry doesn't order books online. He supports local bookstores. They're dying, Amy. Did you say D.C. Parloff? What is happening? D.C. Parloff is the most influential author of our time, the Skyfire Cycle. 12 books chronicling the war between sky and sand, clouds and rocks, the subsidians and... Oh, so it's like a Game of Thrones type thing. No, Game of Thrones is a Skyfire type thing. Get your head out of your ass. Yeah, come on, boy. I'm so sorry, guys. It's good to be home. Up, 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 up. Drink this instead. A mimosa. Made with first class champagne. That's the brand name. It's from Arkansas. I hope it's good. Hell yeah! Really? No, it's terrible, but I really appreciate the thought. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> you okay? The fairy princess castle has defeated me. I'm a grown man with man hands and a man brain. I should be able to put together a dollhouse in less than four hours. Why does it have to be so hard? <sighs> this screw has three pointy sides. And nowhere to screw it in! <laughs> and there's wheels. What kind of castle has wheels? I'm telling you, this machine is broken. Ask me a question. Is Jay-Z really your favorite artist? Yes, obviously. Lie. <sighs> See, it's busted. Is it? Or is your favorite artist really Taylor Swift? <sighs> no. Lie. All right, fine. She is. She makes me feel things. She makes all of us feel things! So, 
What's the plan at the gym? Uh, well, I say we slow play it, you know? Do a little more setup, a little surveillance, wait a couple months and see if they turn themselves in. Listen, man, I know everybody's worried about me being psychologically ready for this, but I promise you I am. No matter what happens, no matter how many bullets are flying, I'm going to be right there in the middle of everything. I got your back. No, it's not even that, you know? It's just... Well, frankly, I'm not so sure that everyone at the gym is going to buy you as a trainer. You've been sitting behind that desk for so long, you've gotten a little tubby, right? It's like love handle alert. Do you have a bone there somehow? Guys, I really need this to go well. My girls are on the wait list for their preschool, and it's twice as tough to get in with twins. Why don't you just get one of them in and then let them take turns going to school every other day? Yeah, that's crazy. I asked my wife, and she said no. Oh, good. Caught him? Yes, sir. He was easy to pick up. He looked just like the sergeant's sketch. You could be a professional artist, boss. Like on the boardwalk. You think I should draw caricatures? I mean, that's garbage art. I don't draw giant head people on surfboards. I'm saying you could do that good. Captain, credit really goes to Sergeant Jeffords. Without his refined artistic skills... Finish the paperwork by noon. I want it included in the crime stats. I gotta say, I always hate how I look in pictures, but that is so flattering. Also, I'm innocent. You got the wrong guy. Shut up. Sarge, I need you to do one more drawing for me. What? It'll cheer the captain up. He'll be over the moon. He may even lean back in his chair a little and nod slightly. This is a lot of pressure. If I'm going to do this, it has to be done right. Scully! Yeah? Get me my oils. Paint or massage? I'll get both. Sir, my life stinks. Sharon's on bed rest. My favorite mango yogurt got discontinued, and my kids think their preschool teacher's a stupid face. Everyone I work with is a stupid face, especially Bryce. Sir. Hmm? Sir. Hmm? Sir. Hmm? Sir. Hmm? Can I be honest? Precinct's not the same without you. The vulture's the worst. My mango yogurt. Yes, you already mentioned the yogurt. Cause it's important! Mr. Parlov, did you send yourself those death threats for publicity? Are you kidding me? I have no need for publicity. The handwriting and the death threats matches perfectly with the inscription you wrote to Terry. Yeah, tell you the truth, I didn't actually write this inscription myself. What? what? Come on, you guys, grow up. You think I have time to answer each letter I get from every sad little fat kid that writes me? Come on, that's why I've got assistance, precisely for that sort of crap. But you said you remembered me. Because you were the cop assigned to my case. Look, I didn't want to piss you off. The man you're looking for, he's my ex-assistant. His name is Edmund Grail. The guy hates me. I slept with his wife, so naturally I had to fire him. Yeah, it's a cool story. After that, I got sort of involved with his sister. It was kind Please of Please stop just... talking. Fine. I have a little bit of, uh... Research to attend to myself, if you understand what I'm talking about. Enjoy having sex with three gorgeous women in cosplay. Well, that went terribly. I am so sorry. Do you need a moment alone, or you want to talk about it? Yep, yep, that works too. So this is my desk. Dust jockey, huh? You just sit here, eat your pickles, wait for the criminals to turn themselves in. Actually, I don't like pickles that much. Terry, I'm glad I found you. There's been a development in the Russian mob case. Oh? Huh? Yeah, a killer has been spotted in a warehouse down by the canal. Get your gear. So you want me first through the door, sir? Oh, it's just you. The SWAT team is on another call, so you'll have to do it alone. Hey, I'm not going to be able to make dinner tonight. Hey, no, do you think? Do you think? Go, Terry. You can crash on my couch. I haven't downloaded you some whale songs. Thank you, sir. I'll never forget it. Good night, Terry. Well, so far, Jacoby hasn't given anything up, but I think Terry's starting to get to him. I'm not talking. You talking right now! Boom! I'm already in your head. Come on, get down from there! Do you know who my father is? He's in business. That's where you actually make money at your job. I make money. I make good money. That can't be true. Otherwise, you wouldn't still have that chin. What? Nobody ever said anything about my chin? Boy, there's something wrong with Terry's chin. I don't want to get involved. Oh, my God, it's true. So I guess if I had to sum them up, Cagney is the intellectual one, whereas Lacey is more of your traditional prodigy. Well, your daughters sound great. You know, I'm going to 
Look over their applications again. Oh, no, that's not necessary. It's Jeffords with two Fs. But what really matters is that your students have an amazing experience here today. Look, Rosa, Sarge is here. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's gonna be fine. I mean, Terry's our boss and he comes with us every year. Correction, you bring vacation, Terry, and he is no man's boss. When the slippers are filled, Terry is chill. Oh, I was trying to cook my oatmeal with a road flare, but it caught on fire. Why are you using a road flare? You said the kitchen was off limit. Yeah, this is your fault, Sarge. Oh, give me that. I'm just holding a road flare. Stepping on some oatmeal, just doing me. I can't believe that you, of all people, are my biggest problem today, Jeffords. I even ordered the pressure cooker from Turkmenistan. So you're on a terrorist watch list now? Oh yeah, Homeland Security's been in my house, yep. Now, this just needs to cook for another 11 hours, 32 minutes, and six... What the hell, boy? You almost killed me! I'm not going out in a stew making accident. Terry's gonna die saving the president, or Terry's never gonna die. I am so, so sorry. Please don't hold this against my daughters. I would never do that. Preschool admissions are based on what we think of the parents. Oh, no. Dr. Sussman, Nancy, if I may. You may not. OK. Look, our methods may have been a little unorthodox and perhaps a little. Graphic and disgusting. I was going to go with yucky, mm. but these kids had fun today. And they learned a lot. Trisha, what's luminol? It's used to look for blood in a crime scene. Even if a criminal tried to clean it up, the iron in blood makes the chemical glow. And Bobby, what's inoculation? It's when someone pops your eyeball out. Probably should have used a less gross example. The point is, this is exactly the kind of educational experience I loved about my magnet school. Now there's something to be said for that. Also, and more importantly, I got Mackenzie and Brianna to stop hating on Kelsey S. And now they're best friends. You're welcome. Wow, that's actually impressive. Thank you. So, Dr. Sussman, let's just call this field trip what it was. A huge success. It was interesting. I saw a prostitute. Not helping, kids. Hey. Hey. Cops, man. Mm-hmm. Word. McAllister, your lawyer's here. He wants to talk to you. Already? What the hell, man? I was just getting started. And yet it felt like forever. You were playing at Alfonso, not with Alfonso. What are you doing right now, Sarge? Listening to you? Yes, listening. But humans do 95% of the time, and Tyrone does, apparently, none of the time. I want you to go back in there and listen. Can you do that for me? Yeah, OK, jeez. I mean, you know, look, take the note about Tyrone or don't. What do I know? But also, I created him. <sighs> hey. McAllister, your lawyer has more questions for you. What? Why were you doing that? You said I should listen. Well, listening doesn't always mean being quiet. Sometimes the only way to listen is to say something. I'm listening to you right now. Do you see how I listen? This is me listening. You're pissing me off, Boyle. Ah, and he's back. Hold on to that aggression. Yeah, go. Go, go, go. What are you looking at? McAllister. Terry, 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 I need you to help me see what I'm not seeing. Why can't you do this? You're giving me too many notes! Okay, well then I can boil it down for you into one note. Tyrone is an ocean. I don't know what that means. It means I want you to be tough but vulnerable, brave but scared, jittery but perfectly still. Also, pace it up a little. Come on, buddy, you got this. Man, these stupid cops won't leave me alone. What the hell? They think I'm a snitch? Not me. I gotta have. McAllister, I need to talk to no. you. No! Excuse me? I don't want any more notes. I've gone undercover before. Now just back off and let me do this. Hey there, Nikolaj. It's your papa. If you're watching this, something bad has happened to me. But I want you to know that I love you very much. You want to stop filming yourself and help me with these mini items I'm carrying? Sorry, I was making a video for my son. You know, in case I never see him again. Do you not do that for your kids? Of course I do. <laughs> I make those kind of videos all the time. Huh. You know, in fact, I was about to do one right now. <laughs> hey, girls, it's me, Daddy. If you're seeing this, I'm dead. 
but I want you to know that I love you now and forever. Okay, time for a lullaby sung in your native Latvian. Lego, Lego, Lego. Yeah, yeah, lullaby time. Look, go to sleep, daddy's dead, but his ghost always watching. What the hell are you guys doing? I get $350 in petty cash. I need to throw an ice cream party for Terry with an eye. Make sure there's no hard feelings. Why? She gets it was a misunderstanding. She's a Terry, and you're a Terrence who, even though he's not a child, still goes by a nickname ending in a Y. I mean, don't people call you Ray? How dare you? It's terrible. The brushwork is sloppy. It's poor use of negative space. I'm a fraud. Not at all. I'd like to take this home for my husband. He'll be glad you made me look so happy. I was trying to make him look serious. I still can't read him. No one can. I'm beginning to think maybe we should climb out on that ledge and see how the perp got in. I was going to say give up. What? Right after I came up with that incredible ledge thing? Terry, we're 10 stories up. You can handle that? Sarge. I'm not scared of heights, okay? I'm scared of bees, I'm scared of snakes, and I'm scared that the Knicks might never be good again, but I am not scared of heights. We're gonna die! We're gonna die! We're gonna die! Hey, Sarge, saw the flyers. You really put a lot of them up, huh? I just wanna make extra sure we find the real book buyer. Do you think it's this kind of overcompensation that's been making things difficult in the bedroom? Oh, I don't compensate. I procreate. Three kids. Okay. Weird brag. Look, just take the book. Nobody cares. Hey, I just saw this. I think he had my book. Oh, really? <laughs> Told ya. But you're not even married, Scully. I'm in a committed relationship, and Cindy Schatz says I'm a selfish lover. All right, well, what about the protein powder? I'm trying to get ripped. I drink like six shakes a day, but nothing's happening. Do you also exercise? What? You're supposed to exercise? Uh, you know, keep the powder. I'll drink normal milkshakes. And you thought that was my book. <laughs> Shame on you, Amy. Shame on you. <laughs> you got the book? You should know things are good with Sharon. I just want to make sure we're as happy in our relationship as we can be. That's nice, Sarge. Sorry you had to embarrass yourself. Not a big deal. I guess I just don't care what other people think of me. That's actually pretty inspiring. I wish I was more like that. Yeah, I don't feel, excuse me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, you're not going to wait for me to leave? Like I said, I just don't care. Hey, Jay, guess who just called me? The Jerky Boys. They're back. No. What? No. No. DC Parlov. He's in town for Legend Con, and he has a case for us. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Parlov. Didn't you write those Skyfire books? I thought he turned out to be a jerk. Yeah, but ever since Jake and I saved his life, he's actually been very nice. He even sent me a Christmas gift, a full-scale replica of the Sword of Opadoma. Mm -hmm. Why are you so excited? You don't care about those stupid books. I actually did read all of them in prison. They are the greatest books I've ever read. And I've read Cujo. Jake and I really bonded over Skyfire. Watch this. Favorite moment in the series? The, the summoning, summoning of, of Bella Castro. Castro. Second favorite? The, the Scarlet Feast. Feast. Third favorite? When, when you thought Kalar had been swallowed by the Norlith, but he had just wished armor was sampling the betrayer in the Battle of Borcastle. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth favorite? Three was plenty, so was zero. OK, I can see that you're skeptical, Rosa, but how about this? Come with us on the case. I know you think it's dumb, but Skyfire is actually very smart and dark and adult. It's not for nerds at all. Ooh, on our way there, should we sing the Elvish hunting song? <laughs> Sharpen your swords and string your bows. The beasts have gone away.